Nate Diaz has been very vocal recently about uh, try, saying that you guys have been holding him hostage and all this stuff. He's been trying to get a fight. Did you hear his comments? And I guess from your perspective, is there any response? No. I mean, when is it Nate Diaz saying something crazy, you know? I, I've said this a million times, and I'll say it again. We can't hold guys hostage. It's not possible, okay? I owe you three fights a year. If I don't fight you three times a year, I have to pay you. How could I hold him hostage? Dana, so follow up on Nate Diaz. So what is your plans like to get him back in there? What would you guys like to be doing with him? What do you think my plans are? We're going to get him a fight. Well, like how soon? Are you looking to get him in the next couple months? Or? I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens. And then the other question. I have to get him three fights a year. I, I, I offer fights. He either accepts them or turns them down. And obviously, I'm not paying him. So I've offered him fights. So he's turning them down. <laughs> this is the game I'm not going to play. Okay. I'm not going to play this game where you ask me, oh, but let's talk more about Nate Diaz. And, and then you're going to go out and write, you know, or whoever's watching this. Oh, he said he turned down fights. I'm not playing that game. So a couple of quick questions. Yeah. Don't jump down my throat, but it is a Nate I Diaz might. question. So what is the procedure? And I'm fresh off vacation, too. I'm in a great mood today. <laughs> what is the procedure if you offer Nate, hey, let's – we want you to fight Kamzat. Here, do you want to fight? Nate says yes. Kamzat says no. Theoretically, obviously, it may or may not have ever happened. I'm not trying to say it did. Right. Does that count as one of the three? Just to elaborate for everybody. Does that count? If, if, if Nate accepts a fight and his opponent turns it down. Correct. What, what, what does that mean? Then we, then, we, then we go for another opponent. So it but, doesn't no, count no, as one of those three. And, and, and it, not, 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 not to say you have. But if you have offered Nate a fight, but somebody else said, no, we don't want to fight Nate, would that, does that count as, like, we have to offer you three fights a year? Or does it have to yeah. be? Yeah, uh, no, we, we, would, we would offer him another fight. Okay. Yeah, if somebody didn't want to fight him, then we'd offer him another fight. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, it's very rare we get into situations where you get, a, you get a fight like that and a guy turns a fight like that down. Last one for me, then, and it is a Nate question. I'm curious. You were in a meeting with him, and he said in an interview that he said the only opponents in the UFC he'd like to fight or are interested in was Ngannou and Adesanya. Do you remember that meeting? And what was your reaction when he said that? That Nate Diaz said Ngannou and Adesanya? Nate said the only guys in the UFC he'd like be interested in fighting was Ngannou and Adesanya, but it's not that he wanted to fight them, just they were the only best ones in the, the, in the sport right now. So. And what should I say to that? I'm curious what your reaction was when you say that. Do you just sort of go, okay. I'm yeah, that's... I mean, imagine having a conversation like that. I mean, it's, come on. I think Nate Diaz versus Francis Ngannou. What should I say? It's just, is that what? Stand there like, holy <laughs> This is crazy. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.